Nikita, here at the GCAR2 you've chaired a panel titled Innovative Public-Private Models Reviewed, Refined and Scaled Out for Adoption by New Partners. Public-Private Partnerships as such have been on the development agenda for a while already. However, the opening discussion of your panel focused on new models, mechanisms and initiatives. GCAR is a major conference with special focus on agricultural research. In a nutshell, what is new concerning PPPs in development discussions and what is the potential of these new models with regard to agricultural research? Yes, thank you, uh, Christian. It's, it's, it is very clear one of the major conclusions coming out of the panel session on public-private civil mechanisms is that there is a greater interest to work with the private sector. Um, and this is largely driven by the understanding that we need uh, an increase in investment in agriculture to address the broader food security and hunger challenges in developing countries. And public funds alone are not enough. Um, so some of the key messages that came out in the opening uh, session of the conference uh, we heard from uh, our distinguished guests from IFAD and FAO, and they were that one, the importance of the private sector in rural development. Uh, the partnerships are key to reach uh, smallholder farmers. Uh, three, that we, that we need to consider the enabling environment of private sector. And uh, four, that smallholders need to be developed uh, into successful businesses. We need to develop smallholders uh, into the private sector. And that there is uh, a, a clear need to link uh, public research with private research. And that there is this emerging of agendas is something that uh, is at the forefront of what GCARD is about. Now, we have seen in the session that there are many different models that exist for public-private partnerships. Um, and not only in research, but they go uh, into extension, uh, commercialization of products. Um, and so many different thematic types of uh, public-private partnerships, um, and also how they are put together. Some are donor-driven, uh, some are uh, reinforced by country uh, national agriculture research systems, um, and some are initiated by the private sector. Um, but one of the important conclusions is that for all the talk on PPPs, there is little evidence of, of sustained, long-lasting public-private partnerships. Um, once the money or the initial seed dries up, uh, a lot of these partnerships struggle. And so what is emerging from all this is, is a core set of very interesting uh, research questions and uh, an emerging uh, research agenda on public-private partnerships. Looking at the program of your panel, some sessions focused on terms like public-private civil models. Why is the civil society added here and what role do smallholders play in these partnerships directly? So another major conclusion from the panel session on uh, public-private civil mechanisms is that uh, farmers are key to any successful private partnership. Um, as the uh, end user of a product and also the producer of food or an agricultural commodity, um, it's imperative that their interests and the rights of farmers are uh, not only considered, we, we can't just give them lip service, but that it forms the core of uh, this partnership. And then we can begin to build off that um, uh, to consider the rights of private sector, breeders' rights, uh, the enabling environment, the regulatory environment. And so it really is about uh, starting with the core interests and ri rights of farmers. And then as we overlay the agendas of the private sector, the public sector, it's about finding that common objective. Not necessarily a shared objective, but the common objective between those. Um, and so in so doing, we, we start identifying uh, what, what are the roles for the public sector, the government, uh, to create the conditions for smallholders to be considered and the conditions to bring in the private sector. Uh, through uh, legal instruments that protect farmers' knowledge, uh, the rights of farmers, the rights of breeders, the protection of traditional knowledge. And so we begin to outline a, a set of priority issues uh, related to developing a successful public-private civil partnership. Nikita, you're policy advisor at the Canadian International Development Agency, CEDA, and also CEDA's focal point in the network of the Global Donor Platform for Rural Development. From your experience here at GCARD, are PPPs a topic of relevance to the platform with its focus on rural development? If so, what could the platform do to facilitate this issue? 
the subject of PPPs, um, I think is relevant, um, but as any other uh, subsector of agriculture and rural development is only relevant to the platform if there is enough interest in it. Um, and I'm confident at the moment that that interest exists within platform members. Uh, it is very likely that uh, public-private partnerships will be a central theme or an emerging theme uh, at the annual General Assembly of the platform uh, in January 2013 in The Hague. Um, and there should be a number of platform members who can come forward and share their experiences with, with public-private partnerships or the types of initiatives that they're, they are supporting that promote them. One of the major action points that's emerging out of GCARD uh, is the need to develop a knowledge platform on engagement with the private sector more broadly. Uh, but this can also include a, a how to develop uh, public-private partnerships, how to include um, civil society and farmers in these partnerships. And I think this is, this is an item that uh, GDPRD members uh, are in a good position to contribute to. Um, Finally, I think the Global Conference on Agriculture Research for Development is a valuable event for bringing together all the different multi-stakeholders uh, involved in agricultural research for development and uh, to bring them all in one place to explore these common issues. And uh, on this issue of public-private partnerships, there definitely emerged some common themes around needing to clarify and develop a research agenda on PPPs, um, improve the learning and education and capacity building within our organizations on this subject. Um, and finally, uh, a need to uh, unify and, and create mechanisms that can bring together uh, the public sector, the private sector, and smallholder farmers to create uh, these strategic and synergistic and very trusted relationships. Thank you.